Welcome. I'm Sebastian Mafud, and you're listening to WCAT Radio, the on-air wing of En Route Books and Media, bringing you the dulcet sounds of Catholic wisdom. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. The Feast of the Annunciation of Mary reminds us of many beautiful aspects of our Catholic faith. I think one of them is the beautiful gifts we have of even being Catholics, being Christians, being able to be bestowed by this awesome gift. Because it also tells us, just like Mary, that we have found favor with God. But today's Gospel also kind of brings us home to a few aspects of our own journey which we ought to be reminded often. Today, as we see in the Gospel, we are told the angel was sent to Mary. And so God sends this angel the only second time we see in the Gospel passage according to Luke where an angel is actually sent to someone. The first one earlier in Luke's Gospel, the angel is sent to Zechariah. And Zechariah's case was that he had prayed for a son with his wife. And having not had that prayer answered, there was some doubt. A doubt that even moved him to a point of even forgetting that he had prayed for that specific need. But in the case of Mary, she never prayed to be the mother of God. And so it comes as a surprise. But that's one thing with our God. Oftentimes he will surprise us. He surprises us because he knows our capacities and he knows what we can handle be it in grace or in the task he has placed before us. And so Mary herself, receiving this message, we're told, is troubled. Have you ever been troubled in your life? You know, when I look into this congregation, you know, I realize that you all have lived a long, long time. And so my assumption is, there, the chances are you have been troubled one time or the other in your life. And it is at the moments of trouble whereby it's hard to hear God's voice, it's hard to see God even in the situation and context of our lives. It is at those moments that God steps into our lives to remind us, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. It is words which we ought to hear every single moment. Because sometimes when we face trials and challenges, we, ch- we face difficulties that make us know, cause us to be fe- fearful anxious or worried 
God oftentimes is very much there present, reminding us not to be afraid, just like our Blessed Mother Mary. But obviously, Mary is given this news that she is going to conceive and be the mother of Jesus. For us today, we really don't understand the capacity and immensity of that news. For Mary, a Jew, living at the time she was living, at a time whereby Jews were expecting a Messiah to come, it was great news. It was a news beyond any other news anyone wanted to hear. And to be recognized as the one who was chosen to be the mother of Messiah was a great deal. And so Mary, in fact, is confused like today's gospel tells us. But when God makes or shows us a plan, a plan, like I've often said, he would show us the process and give us the purpose of that plan. And that is what we see in today's gospel because the angel now narrates to her what's going to happen. She herself who says, no, I'm, I don't know any man and no, how is this going to take place? The angel says to her, it's going to be by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, as we reflect on this gospel passage, one thing that stands out is this. That God oftentimes when he gives us a task, say in our families, he has given us kids, he's given us spouse, or we have parents which we have to take care of. He will also give us the grace to be able to carry out the task. Sometimes those tasks might be great, difficult, challenging. But remember, like I've often said from the mouth of the Apostle Paul, God will not allow you to be tempted beyond your ability. He will not also give you a cross He knows you can't carry. And maybe in your life now, maybe in your family, in your relationship, you feel stressed out for various reasons. I want you to remember, Mary in today's gospel experienced what we all experience in the face of great challenges. She felt she couldn't do it. But like the angel reminded her, with God, with God, nothing will be impossible. Not with us, but with God. Remember that as you go out this day. Is there something in your life that looks impossible? Remember, it will look impossible anytime you look at it by yourself. But with God, nothing will be impossible. If with God nothing is impossible, how should we respond whenever God gives us a grace or presents us with a task he wants us to carry out? Listen to what Mary says. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Not my word, but to your word. God's word is, nothing will be impossible. Is there anything that has caused you to fear? Today we bring all of those things to this altar. I can tell you from my own experience coming into this parish with all that happened, there were moments whereby I felt it was going to be impossible, outright. But I had to turn to God, because ultimately, He's the one who sent me here. I didn't make the choice of coming here, because I believe that with God nothing is impossible. That is why I am still here today. You have testimonies in your life, and there are greater more testimonies to come. If you believe like Mary, that nothing will be impossible for God. Today, as we receive the greatest sign of all, Jesus Christ in the Eucharist, He gives us the opportunity, He also gives us the grace to respond like our mother Mary in the difficult moments of our lives, at those moments when we are faced with challenges, at those moments whereby we feel life in itself is burdensome. God reminds us that he is always there for us. And like Mary, his word will be fulfilled in our lives. We hope you enjoyed the program and will join us back 
for another show on WCAT Radio. This is Sebastian Mafud. Good day.